In continuing coverage tonight, we're learning more about the DNA testing that helped arrest a man who police say murdered a woman 50 years ago. News 18's Toby Moore has the details. After a 50 year long investigation, a suspect in the murder of Mary Schlace is here in the Dunn County Jail. New DNA testing was critical to the arrest. February 15th, 1974, Mary Schlace was hitchhiking from Minneapolis to Chicago and killed. Her body was found in the town of Springbrook in rural Dunn County. Now, 50 years later, an arrest has finally been made. Thank you for not giving up on this case and not letting it become lost to time. 84-year-old John Miller was arrested for the murder. Investigators say newly developed DNA technology finally led them to a suspect. One piece of evidence found at the crime scene was a stocking hat. Investigators at that time knew the hat would be, an important, would be important to the investigation, but probably not in the way we were able to utilize evidence from this hat nearly 50 years later. The DNA from hair fibers in that hat were collected, but for years no matches were found until 2022 when the county started working with the Investigative Genetic Genealogy, or IgG, Center in New Jersey. They used that DNA to find matches within the suspect's family who have voluntarily uploaded their information to genetic records. Techniques researchers say have only been around for about six years. We build up the family tree to identify common ancestors. From there, we descend the tree using the same kinds of publicly available records and tools until we find the place where the subject may fit into the family tree. But this case wasn't so easy. DNA matches led investigators to family in Wyoming and Michigan before finding Miller, who was adopted from that family. With, with cooperation from some of the cousins of uh, John Miller, the DNA cousins of John Miller, we were able to figure out who the unknown relative was. When confronted with the DNA evidence, Miller reportedly confessed. According to the criminal complaint, he told police he picked up Schlace hitchhiking and asked her for sexual contact. When she refused, he stabbed her. He also reportedly admitted it was his stocking cap left at the scene. Investigators say they hope that IgG evidence helps bring closure to Mary Schlace's family 50 years later. For News 18, I'm Toby Moore. All right, thanks, Toby. Miller was arrested in Minnesota last week, and Dunn County Sheriff Kevin Biggs says he's now in the Dunn County Jail, charged with first-degree murder.